Hey there, friends. Pastor Jason here. Glad you can join me for Daily Devotionals. Today we are in Deuteronomy 27 and 28. We're going to wrap up Deuteronomy this week. I can feel it in my bones. Sorry, I missed you yesterday. The, uh, the account here is Moses still speaking to the Israelites, his last few words, uh, and before he goes up the mountain and passes away before crossing into the promised land. Chapter 27, verse 1. Then Moses and the elders of Israel charged the people, saying, Keep all the commandments which I command you today, so that all so it shall be on the day when you cross the Jordan to the land which the Lord is giving you, that you shall set up for yourselves large stones and co uh, coat them with lime, and write on them all the words of this law when you cross over, so that you may enter the land which the Lord your God gives you, a land flowing with milk and honey, as the Lord, the God of your fathers, promised you. So it shall be when you cross the Jordan, you shall set up, uh, you shall set up on Mount Ebal these stones, as I am commanding you today, and you shall coat them with lime. Moreover, you shall build there an altar to the Lord your God, an altar of stones. You shall not wield an iron tool on them. You shall build the altar of the Lord your God of uncut stones, and you shall offer on it burnt offerings to the Lord your God, and you shall sacrifice peace offerings and eat there and rejoice before the Lord uh, your God. You shall write on the stones all the words of this law very distinctly. Then Moses and the Levitical priests spoke to all Israel, saying, Be silent and listen. O Israel, this day you have become a people for the Lord your God. You shall therefore obey the Lord your God and do his commandments and his statutes, statutes which I command you today. Moses also charged the people and that day, saying, When you cross the Jordan, these shall stand on Mount Gerizim to bless the people, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Ishkar, Joseph, and Benjamin. For the curse, these shall stand on Mount Ebal, Reuben, Gad, Asher, Zebulon, Dan, and Naphtali. The Levites shall then answer and say to all the men of Israel with a loud voice, Cursed is the man who makes an idol or a molten image, an abomination to the Lord, the work of the hands of the craftsmen, and sets it up in secret, and the people shall answer and say, Amen. Cursed is the man who dishonored his mother and father, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who moves his neighbor's boundary mark, and all people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who misleads a blind person on the road, and all shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who distorts the justice due an alien, orphan, and widow, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who lies with his father's wife because he has uncovered his father's skirt, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who lies with an animal, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who lies with his sister, the daughter of his father or of his mother, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who lies with his mother-in-law, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who strikes his neighbor in secret, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who accepts a bribe to strike down an innocent person, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who does not confirm the words of this law by doing them, and all the people shall say, Amen. Chapter 28. Now it shall be, if you diligently obey the Lord your God, being careful to do all his commandments, which I command you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. All these blessings will come upon you and overtake you if you obey the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the country. Blessed shall be the offspring of your body and pr produce of your ground, and the offspring of your beasts, the increase of your herd and the young of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. 
The Lord shall cause your enemies who rise up against you to be defeated before you. They will come out against you one way and will flee before you seven ways. The Lord will command and the blessing upon you in your barns and in all that you put your hand to, and he will bless you in the land which the Lord your God gives you. The Lord will establish you as a holy people to himself as he swore to you. If you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways, so all the peoples of the earth will see that you are called by the name of the Lord and they will be afraid of you. The Lord will make you abound in prosperity in the offspring of your body and in the offspring of your beast and in the produce of your ground, in the land in which the Lord swore to your fathers to give you. The Lord will open for you his good storehouse, the heavens, to give rain to your land in its season and to bless all the work of your hand. And you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. The Lord will make you the head and not the tail, and you will only be above and you will not be underneath. If you listen to the commandments of the Lord your God, which I charge you today, to observe them carefully and do not turn aside from any of the words which I command you today, to the right or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. But if it shall come about if you do not obey the Lord your God to observe to do all his commands and his statutes with which I charge you today, that all these curses will come upon you and overtake you. Cursed shall you be in the city, and cursed shall you be in the country, and cursed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Cursed shall be the offspring of your body and the produce of your ground and the increase of your herd and the young of your flock. Cursed shall you be when you come in, and cursed shall you be when you go out. The Lord will send you upon you curses, confusion, and rebuke in all you undertake to do until you are destroyed, until you perish quickly on account of the evil of your deeds, because you have forsaken me. The Lord will make the pestilence cling to you until he has consumed you from the land where you are entering to possess it. The Lord will smite you with consumption and with fever and with inflammation and with fiery heat and with sword and with blight and with mildew and they will pursue you until you perish. The heaven which is over your head shall be bronze, and the earth which is under you iron. The Lord will make the rain of your land powder and dust. From heaven it shall come down on you until you are destroyed. The Lord shall cause you to be defeated before your enemies. You will go out one way against them, but you will flee seven ways before them. You will be an example of terror to all the kingdoms of the earth. Your carcasses will be food to all the birds of the sky and to the beasts of the earth, and there will be no one to frighten them away. The Lord will smite you with boils, with the boils of Egypt and the tumors, with tumors and with the scab and with the itch from which you cannot be healed. The Lord will smite you with madness and with blindness and with bewilderment of heart. You will grope at noon as the blind man gropes in the darkness, and you will not prosper in your ways, but you shall only be oppressed and robbed continually with none to save you. You shall betroth a wife, but another man will violate her. You shall build a house, but you will not live in it. You shall plant a vineyard, but you will not use its fruit. Your ox shall be slaughtered before your eyes, but you will not eat of it. Your donkey shall be torn away from you and will not be restored to you. Your sheep shall be given to your enemies and you will have none to save you. Your sons and your daughters shall be given to another people while, the eye, with, while your eyes look on and yearn for them continually, but there will be nothing you can do. A people whom you do not know shall eat up the produce of your ground and all your labors, and you will never be anything but oppressed and crushed continually. You shall be driven mad by the sight of what you see. The Lord will strike you on the knees and legs with sore boils from which you cannot be healed. For, 
the sole of your foot to the crown of your head. The Lord will bring you and your king whom you set over you to a nation which neither you nor your fathers have known, and there shall there you shall serve other gods, wood and stone. You shall become a horror, a proverb, and a taunt among all the people where the Lord drives you. You shall bring out much seed to the field, but you will gather in little, for the locust will consume it. You shall plant and cultivate vineyards, but you will neither drink of the wine nor gather the grapes, for the worm will devour them. You shall have olive trees throughout your territory, but you will not anoint yourself with the oil, for the olives will drop off. You shall have sons and daughters, but they will not be yours, for they will go into captivity. The cricket shall possess all your trees and the produce of your ground. The alien who is among you shall rise above you higher and higher, but you will go down lower and lower. He shall send, shall lend to you, but you will not lend to him. He shall be the head and you will be the tail. So all these curses shall come upon you and pursue you and overtake you until you are destroyed because you would not obey the Lord your God by keeping his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded you. They shall become a sign and a wonder on you and your descendants forever. Because you did not serve the Lord your God with joy and a glad heart for the abundance of all things, therefore you shall serve your enemies whom the Lord will send against you in hunger and thirst and nakedness and a lack of all things. And he will put an iron yoke on your neck until he has destroyed you. The Lord will bring a nation against you from afar, from the end of the earth as the eagle swoops down, a nation whose language you shall not understand, a nation of fierce countenance who will have no respect for the old nor show favor to the young. Moreover, it shall eat the offspring of your herd and the produce of your ground until you are destroyed, who also leaves you no grain, new wine, or oil, nor the increase of your herd or the young of your flock, until your high and fortified walls in which you trusted come down throughout your land, and it shall besiege you in all your towns throughout your land, which the Lord your God has given you. Then... You shall eat the offspring of your own body and the flesh of your sons and of your daughters, which whom the Lord your God has given you during the siege and the distress by which your enemies will oppress you. The man who is refined and very delicate among you shall be hostile towards his brother and toward the wife he cherishes and toward the rest of his children who remain so that he will not, he will not give even one of them any of the flesh of his children, which he will eat, since he has nothing else left during the siege and the distress by which the enemy will oppress you in all your towns. The refined and delicate woman among you who, will, who would not venture to set the sole of her foot on the ground for delicateness and refinement shall be hostile toward the husband she cherishes, toward her son and daughter, and toward her afterbirth, which issues from between her legs, toward her children, whom she bears, for she will eat them secretly for the lack of anything else during the siege and the distress by which your enemy will oppress you in your towns. If you are not careful to observe all the words of the law which are written in this book, to fear this honored and awesome name, the Lord your God, then the Lord will bring extraordinary plagues on you and your descendants, even severe and lasting plagues and miserable and chronic sickness. He will bring back on you all the diseases of Egypt on, of which you were afraid, and they will cling to you. Also, every sickness and every plague which not written in the book of this law, the Lord will bring on you until you are destroyed. Then you shall be left few in number, whereas you were as numerous as the stars of heaven because you did not obey the Lord your God. It shall come about that the Lord, as the Lord delighted over you to prosper you and multiply you, so the Lord will delight over you to make you perish and destroy you, and you will be torn from the land where you are entering to possess it. Moreover, the Lord will scatter you among all the peoples from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth. 
And there you shall serve other gods, wood and stone, which you and your fathers have not known. Among those nations, you shall never find rest. You shall find no rest. And there will be no resting place for the sole of your foot. But there the Lord will give you a trembling heart, failing eyes, and despair of soul. So your life shall hang in doubt before you, and you will be in dread night and day, and shall have no assurance of your life. In the morning you shall say, Would that it were evening. And then at the evening you shall say, Would that it were morning. Because of the dread in your heart, which you dread, and for the sight of your eyes, which you will see. The Lord will bring you back to Egypt in ships by ways about which I spoke to you. You will never see it again. And there you will offer your sales, yourselves for sale to your enemies as male and female slaves, but there will be no buyer. Whew, tremendous blessing and cursing here in chapters 27, 28. Uh, this has been a little bit of a longer video, so I'm going to keep this encapsulation pretty short. He's Moses ex exclaiming and, and, and uh, proclaiming to the Israelite nation to keep the word of the Lord. Keep the word of the Lord and be blessed. Don't keep the word of the Lord, be cursed. It was either or. There was no middle ground. Praise Jesus, we have him. May we follow what he has to say. May we follow the Holy Spirit in our lives as best as we can. May we be found good ambassadors for his grace, mercy, and love. May we be found faithful, fruitful, fulfilling the good work that he has already ordained for us to do. I hope chapter 27 and 28, as difficult as they might have been to hear, I hope they're a blessing. I hope they inspire you to follow after the Lord. Go out, be a blessing to those around you. I'll see you tomorrow as we continue in Deuteronomy. Have a great day.